All right, today we're doing a test of gulp worms versus real worms or live worms. The worms I'm going to be using are Gulp Alive. They're imitation red worms. They're a little thinner than the Gulp Alive night crawlers. And as you can see, I've got it with a pinch on weight and a slip bobber and a bobber stop on both rigs here. Same rig. Here's our live worm. And I'm going to be fishing with the live worms. And my son's going to be fishing with the gulp worms. And we're going to keep a count and see who catches the most fish. Okay, let's get started. I got him. Okay, we got our first. Oh, he came off. Came off. We got a tiny little piece of worm on here. Oh, my worm is gone. Worm is gone. All right, we're both getting a ton of bites. We haven't hooked anything yet. And I'm on my second live worm. My first worm got stolen pretty fast. Here's a bite. We got him. We got him. First fish. And oh wow. That is a nice bluegill up shallow. Look at this guy. Good looking bluegill. Wow. So that's one for the live worms. None for the gulp yet. But it's coming, he's getting a lot of bites. All right, we're on worm number four. And he's still on his same first gulp alive worm. There's a fish. There we go. Oh, came off. That's the second fish to come off. Still one to zero. There we go. All right. Feels like a little bigger of a fish. This might be one of those warm mouth. No, that's another big bluegill. Wow. This guy. Good looking fish. There we go fish on there got him bluegill number three none yet for gulp but he's getting a ton of bites little guy there whoa whoa been there all right there's another one I think this is number four, right? And he's hooked way down in the mouth on the true turn. Good sized fish there. This will be a good test. I'm going to drop my worm right next to the gulp minnow. Something just took my worm. Let's try it again. Yeah, something's on my worm again, I think. Yeah. There we go. Small bluegill. Right? Five or six? Five? Number five, five to one. Live worms. All right, let's try some side by side here again live worm and gulp worm yeah live worm again I think something has it yeah something's got it there he is that's a big one there wow big bluegill 
right, we switched out because I want my son to catch fish. I don't want to be the only guy catching fish here. So I'm on the left now with the gulp, the live worm, and he's on the right with the live worm. Nice bluegill. My son got his first fish, so that's what, seven now for the live worm mm -hmm. and zero for the gulp. Good job, man. That's a big one. It's just fish pee, it's like water. All right, I changed over to a larger piece of the gulp worm here to try to get a more natural worm presentation to see if that's gonna help. Oh, nice, hold that bad boy up. That's a big one. Do I got a fish on? I got a, I got a fish on. What is that? Did I tail, I tail hooked this fish. What in the world? Doubled up. Yours is bigger. So the bottom one was a gulp worm with the much larger worm piece on there. Top one is a live worm. Two good looking fish. So that's what, number nine? Eight. This, that's this eight. is number eight. So we got what, one or two for the gulp? One? That's one. Let's see if we can replicate those results with this longer piece of gulp worm here. I think that's number 10. Raise it up high. That's another one for live worm. We're still, I think, at one on this gulp minnow. There we go. Nice bluegill. Fish number two for the gulp alive. Another good sized bluegill. Okay, I see a bluegill moving in and out of the grass here in front of me. There we go. Nice sized bluegill and that is fish number three. Good size fish there, starting to get a forehead on them. Throw it just outside the grass. That's where they're staging to go into the grass to get those minnows. See, there's another one there. Nice bluegill. That's what, number, number four for the gulp. Oh, immediate hit for the live worm. That is another good size bluegill too. So we got our gulp bluegill on the bottom, our live worm bluegill on the top. Two nice fish. Get them back in there. And we've noticed that they're staging in a deeper area right outside some grass here in the shallows. And we can actually see them running up into that grass and grabbing minnows and running back down. Another nice fish for the live worm. And that's what, number 12? 12 to what, six, five? Five or six. We're gonna have to make sure it shows on the screen of the video. Yeah, cause there's... Good fishing though today. Especially now that we kind of figured out somewhat of a pattern here. He's got another one on already. Yeah, baby. Awesome fish too. Oh, I had one on. <laughs> There's a fish. There he is. Wow. Can be another good sized bluegill. This time on the gulp worm. Good sized bluegill there. Gulp worm. There he is. There's another one. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Every single bluegill is eating size too. It's awesome. Here we go, gulp worm, another good sized fish. I don't know what number this is for live worm. 13 or 14. Yeah, 13 or 14 we think. We're gonna try to keep track on the video. All right, live worm bobber's moving. It's moving. Turning around, 
Ooh, did we get him? All right, smallest fish of the day. Finally, a small bluegill. I didn't think we were gonna catch any little guys. Smallest fish of the day. Little baby. All right, well, that's gonna conclude our little competition today. I just wanted to take a second to show you what I use to keep all my gulp baits in. This is a Plano Liqui Bait Locker Bottle. It's leak proof and it's a storage system for all your Gulp Alive type baits. And what I do is as I buy different types of Gulp Alive, like here is the larger of the Gulp minnows. Here are the little maggots. We've got the honeyworms in here, Gulp crickets. And each time I buy a pack, I dump it in here with the juice. So I've got an accumulation of all kinds of juices in here from different Gulp products and it does have a gasket here or o-ring type seal on it so it doesn't leak and i've been using this for around a year now and i love it it keeps the bait nice and moist so it doesn't dry out and coats it in this disgusting smelly stinky wonderful gulp juice there so hopefully you enjoyed watching this video i'm going to put up the final tally right now gulp alive versus live worms and what do you know we've got our last fish for the video here how many is this for live you think 15 or 16. we think it's 15 or 16 and this guy has a little chunk out of his forehead missing probably from a turtle we'll get this hook out here and get him back in the water with that little piece of worm you can have that buddy there we go last fish of the day great time fishing with the boy here always good to put them on the fish so if you haven't yet subscribe to the channel make sure you like this video and we'll see you next time Perfect.